Thank you. That's one of the greatest things that we could wish or hope or give to anybody. The peace of Christ. It is a game changer. So with that peace in mind, it gives us a spirit of openness, maybe vulnerability, maybe a spirit of learning something new. We come to the time of worship that we call Time for Discovery. So in Time for Discovery, we open ourselves to God's word, God's stories in the Bible in new and fresh ways that they might come to life in us and change us. So we've been studying the Gospel of Mark. And even though it's the Sunday after Easter, we're still in the Gospel of Mark. So we're still going to be in Mark, picking up some stories we didn't get to so far. And we've got a really good one. It's actually two little stories today. And we have some special guests to help us sort the stories out. So come on up, special guests. I'm going to interview you a little bit here kind of find some things out about you guys. It's so great to see you. So how are you? Good. You're good? You're doing good? So great to see you today. And uh, tell me, why are you here today? Jesus. You want to see Jesus. Well, great. Jesus is in today. So you are in luck. And just take a look, just stay where you are, but take a look over there. Yes, do you see Jesus sitting at that cafe table with the orange tablecloth on it? Jesus is in the house. Yes, yeah, Jesus is here all the time in one way or another. So yeah, so Jesus is in and also Jesus' disciples. Yeah, the disciples are in also, Jesus' helpers, and so... You know, I'm sure they'll be very helpful today, wink, wink, to help you see Jesus. Okay? All right. So let's, um, uh, I hear, we, we see he's there, but he's actually traveling today. So let's step out and we'll watch Jesus come into town because that's where he's going to be. He's going to come to Capernaum over there with the disciples. So get ready to go. Let's see what happens next. Our scripture reading today is from Mark 9, verses 33 to 37 and 42. Then we have a second scripture, which is from Mark 10, verses 13 to 16. Jesus and his disciples came to Capernaum. And when Jesus was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But the disciples were silent. For on the way, they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. Jesus sat down, called the twelve to him, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then Jesus took a little child and put it among him. And taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. Later, people were bringing little children to Jesus. 
in order that he may lay hands on them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant. And he said to the disciples, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And Jesus took the children in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow. Let's have a listen and repeat prayer. Dear God, thank you for children. Let them teach us how to receive you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for helping God's word come to life today.